Damn. I now that I think about it, I gassed up to Pimp a Butterfly. I might have to retract that. I think Section 80 might be my favorite Kendrick's joint. Damn, bro. You, know, you just submitted Chan, the gassing up to Pimp a Butterfly. Ronald Reagan era. I mean, I was... <laughs> Now this is what will make this is what makes Kendrick a phenomenal hypocrite. And my boy Walker brought this out last stream. And I had Dr. Dre introducing the song of, on, on, on stage. But if Drake's a bad father, what the fuck is Dr. Dre? Oh, very he, much, yeah. That is a horrible father, bro. I don't, I don't know how. A, to, I don't know if I thought Dr. Dre being a parent. That's a do you see the hypocrisy? Do you see the do you see the blatant hypocrisy in this? <laughs> so, like, this is why I don't. Damn, you fathered nine children, my nigga. Huh? What you say? See, Dr. Dre done fathered nine children. But he's terrible with Man. it. He's a terrible father. His his son, I think he's his it. oldest one. He was never in his life. He literally says it all the time. He was like, bro, wasn't in my life. He calls he daddy. He calls his daddy, bro. Like, bro, wasn't even in my life like that. But you know, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? His daughter didn't help his daughter when she was she was crying about I need money. I'm struggling out here. Mm. Yep. We got future. We got eight baby mamas and eight kids but, too that he just recently went with. But Kent, but Drake is a terrible father. Is a bad father. What is your mentor? Kendrick is not intelligent, bro. Sorry, he's dumb. Yeah, very much so. Double standards don't mean you're dumb. It just makes you a hypocrite. Him, that's being him, dumb, ain't it? That is being dumb. I was just about to say that. That is being stupid because you wouldn't say it. If Drake's, if Drake's, if you think Drake is a horrible father, you're not gonna put that in the disc, bro. You're gonna be, cause, cause this Dre is a bad. Father. But I ain't gonna like. I got homies spitting, though, cause Sh I got homies that's no, you... bad fathers. <laughs> like, like I, I'm not finna, I'm not finna, I'm not finna do that. But yeah, I was gonna like, say that no, he, 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 he might, he might you, be you spitting. Though, like... You did the same thing Pusha T did, which is lame. And besides, we don't know how close uh, Dr. Dre and Kendrick are still. Like, cause yeah, he had Dr. Dre out on stage and now the song even have real him quick. On stage? Like, I was gonna say, like he, he, I don't know. Maybe out of a loyalty thing, maybe try to get Snoop up there. You know, is, but Snoop said, "Nah, the, they did some the would, little break bread dis thing just, would, just to show face." You Apparently, you would disassociate there's a lot yourself of from Dr. Dre. We don't know if you if you exactly. are you would disassociate yourself from Dr. Dre if you are against that are are bad fathers. We ain't even finna talk about him getting with Michelle Lay when she was sixteen. Um, oh yeah oh yeah that so oh. yes oh. that dumb <laughs> or prince or prince the guy he looks up to but he's beefing with drake for the same reason that prince is covering the 16 year old you put me on that. to the prince shit but prince was called yeah, a 16 year old oh yep, he Come did on, man it's that and that and and and, and that's y'all king y'all can keep him keep that <laughs> now you know why i disliked it <laughs> what the f you mean? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, who's my king? <laughs> Kendrick. Hell yeah, Kendrick's still the king. Hold up, let's look up Prince. Oh, real okay, quick. then. Prince, what the f you mean? That's your king. You let, 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 <laughs> keep him. Oh, that. You, now you understand. No, now you, wait, now you understand. Now, now, let me say you something. Now you understand why I say what I say, right? I mean, I, I like Jay Cole better anyway. Oh, I'm talking to old boy <laughs> because that's the whole that, that'd be my whole point of this conversation. Do you understand why? Because there are some double standards, too. There are some double standards, however, Kendrick on my part, it's from facts. Wait, what's the are you saying that I have double? Standards? Oh, yeah, there are double standards on Kendrick's. Oh, yeah, on oh. Kendrick's front, yeah, there are double standards. Like, he'll go at Drake for being yeah. a bad father, mm -hmm. but, you know, Dre and Prince have done all this bad shit behind the scenes, and he's trying to glorify them. Metro get them on stage why are you shit. why are you rapping on like that? And it just came out that he was yeah. talking about minors. And like I said, maybe there's levels of the shit we don't know. Maybe Kendrick. <laughs> can't maybe respect that shit you. we don't know. True. Can't, can't respect because it. it's more. There's always more than one side to every story. Like um, apparently that that uh, there, there was some incident back in the day, and I know like I always do this shit. I'm going. I'm going to go back to. Do this you shit, have that but... same opinion for Drake? It's more than one side to the story. 
Oh yeah, I got the same opinion for Drake too. There might be okay. one side to Drake story too, because like right. I'm not gonna call Drake a PDF file, I even though he has it. done some cre- creepy ass shit. Mm-hmm. Like the, the like has done some wild shit on camera, and dude got sex sex offenders on payroll. Even though Kendrick, he could be a little bit more specific. Bach ain't do nothing with no minor. And he then did something with a pointed that out again, but sure, but you saying. OVO fed you the inf- OVO get, got gave you the information, so you're working with <laughs> house. Yep, <laughs> even working with <laughs> files or people working with <laughs> files. Y'all can't say is all a of them f- f- files. <laughs> that Luther, is dumb. Luther saying that the person getting his info from is a PDF file. If you know, if, if, OV, if OVO if you know if you know they got <laughs> files over there, why would you even associate yourself with them? Bro, people, because if one, because bro, because because, because I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of like, bro, but I'm like, bro, if, how long if, the have, if that, how, how long the if that, sorry, if that camp is full of people, why would you even work with them? Why would you even, why would you even, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Why would you even entertain that? How many has worked with Diddy for for like fifty something years and waited for like you know up until now to come out about the shit? Didn't that do Ronnie something work with Diddy for like over a f-ing decade before being like, no, now I'm gonna tell the cops. This is why. This is what makes him hypocritical, fake soapbox warrior. Pretty much. If you, if you have it, don't a, necessarily make him a fake soapbox warrior. It just yes. makes him like you know an agitator to the shit. Because you make it seem like this is such a problem, but if you have a problem with these with these things. You wouldn't associate yourself with them, and you were quiet about it for years. That you didn't speak on it until like quiet about it for years. Or if these people are actually harming children, why are you not trying to get these packed up and sent away? But the thing is, like you said, you said Diddy and shit. Well, they work for Diddy or with Diddy, and they're nothing without Diddy. Whereas Kendrick, he he's everything without Drake. You know, he already got his fan base and everything. So, like, it's mm-hmm. a different circumstance. Oh yeah, that's uh, it too. Yeah. K- Kendrick already had his fan base before this beef and shit. He didn't need Drake for a fan base. I'm gonna take all two labels and shit. The, the shit that I'm referring to is is if uh, because there could be people working for OVO. In OVO's shop that ain't down with the shit OVO's doing. It's like, yo, I'm about to blow the whistle on this shit. And instead you... of blowing the woods, if, you know, if, little if people you leak know shit out. Them, and drink. Bro, if you know that there's files over there, why would you assume that? Okay, this one, this one ain't. Why would you even assume that? <laughs> <laughs> bro, there are, there's like long <laughs> ass shit, like long ass investigations that go into shit. Like, let's say somebody went to the cops about it today. The cop's going to be like, oh, okay, how widespread is it? I'm going to get evidence on this person, this person, this person. So it becomes a long-ass, months-long investigation and shit into the motherfucker. So it becomes, like, layers upon layers what instead of just, said, oh, we got files, address. raise the joint. There's actual investigations and, like, you know, stings that go into it. What you like, just... people were on. People were investigating Diddy for over a year before they were like, okay, let's raid the house. Again. Kendrick, if you know that a lot of niggas are pedophiles and OVO, why would you assume that some niggas are not? Why would that? Why would why would that be in the? Why would that be in the? Why would you trust any of these? And obviously, they gave you the wrong info because 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 it, it didn't it, it, it prove that they had a daughter. Pretty much. So you you literally shot yourself in the foot. You worked with house, and they gave you the wrong info. Your king is dumb, bro. But, Very. Wait, how do you know that he worked with? He said this in the OVO camp again. How do you know the same ones and same ones that gave me information? Because y'all said there how, were people in the OVO camp that that? just want to kill Drake. That's my point. How would he know that? That okay, this n- he cool. How would you know? If if it's a gang of n- that's house over there why would you oh, okay exactly. so, how, so how would you trust him to take this evidence that he don't know if like you know if this evidence is legitimate or not to go to the cops and get this shit rated or not he doesn't know if this shit is real he doesn't know if this shit is going to go to investigation <laughs> but what he can do is he can put it into a diss track and say with artistic liberty without getting arrested <laughs> <or> for defamation <laughs> 
no way. It's, it's true. Another thing that another thing that so, me is so that he's like you, he's just going he off in here saying right. I'll go ahead. Oh my bad. I said like another thing in the Grams. This is one. This is one of the artists that are not only hypocritical, but it really pissed me off. And he's like, remember in Grams, he was like, some of these artists are here to police it, like police what Drake is doing, like trying to hide it and like act like it ain't there. You're doing that for Kodak and Future and and all these bro yourself. Like, and what Buddy just explained, he's doing it for he's and, 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 and what he just explained, he's doing it for Drake too. Well, how, how often is exactly. Kendrick around Kodak and Future? Like he put, he was on a song with them the or two, terrible, but like how often how, how is he around these niggas? If you look at their track record, but what, they're it, horrible people. <laughs> Go ahead. That's what I'm saying. But but what they did is public knowledge. Like the assault on the minor with Kodak and shit, and Future being a deadbeat dad. Like he's had diss tracks by Sierra on him for being a deadbeat dad and a deadbeat lover, bro. I'm just saying. So like it's kind of known. Like long. Um, that's what I'm saying. So it's like, but like. Yeah, this, this that's what I'm hip- saying. This dude hypocrisy runs so deep. It, it is. It, literally it runs deeper it. than his own lyrics, bro. I ain't gonna... Yes, bro. <laughs> like, the n- is just, like, full of... This is why I can't crown this n- nothing, bro. I, he overrated, bro. Especially especially with this. With, with all... With, with the dish with, with, with the dish track shit. Very disappointing. I, we reacted to Meet the Grams live. And if you go to, and if you watch that video, I'm going into that shit with open arms. I literally did, literally. And I remember people were calling you biased. Exactly. I went into it with open arms. But see the, the see, but see the type of person I am. I listen to stuff. I listen to what you're saying. I'm sorry that I'm that way. And I'm not, and I'm not saying sorry like I actually apologize, nigga. <laughs> f- y'all niggas. But that's how I am. <laughs> if I hear some hypocritical shit, I'm gonna point it out. And that's and I was, it, 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 I'm like this n- dumb. Pack them up. Like I already commented this on your video, but how the creator is still better than Kendrick? On I got Tyler over Kendrick. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, very man. much. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Tyler don't got that much. I mean, knowledge. it's facts. I like Tyler the Creator's music more than Kendrick Lamar's by a long shot. <laughs> His he, music's good. Like Tyler makes good music, but I won't say he got bars like that. Like, what? No, he does. <laughs> have you, Yo, not, even have you not, not heard, bro? I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. Have Tyler you not heard? Got bars. Have you not heard his album Cherry Bomb? That's all I got. Oh, say. I have heard. Oh, Cherry, Cherry Bomb is a dope ass album. I do love Cherry Bomb, but have he you hasn't even heard another like, Cherry Bomb in a minute. No. Yonkers goes hard too. Like, yeah, it's the it's like a more that's popular one, song of his. That's, yeah. that's the one that Yonkers. drew me in. I'm a walking paradise. Oh, no, I'm not. not. Yo, uh, Tyler hates that, that track, dog. Is his 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 wordplay, his rhyme scheme, his fucking he's very creative. The too. I the like guy. that are creative. Yeah. yeah he Boy, you know what? Like, I'm about that like, opinion. I'm the coffin. Yeah, that's all it is. He beats Kendrick lyrically. That's what all this is: is opinions. I try to tell that to everybody. That's all it is. And then a lot of y'all get salty. See, I will. Ne- I never get salty at other opinions. That's the difference between me and a lot of in the comment section. Everybody saying I'm um, unsub. Unsub then. What the fuck? You think you think I care about that? That just shows me how much of a pussy you are. <laughs> even if even if you react like sourly, you're never saying that they're wrong. Though you always reinstate, right. like, "Hey, dude, you're never wrong about your opinion." Because mm-hmm. I can, because because really I, 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 I disagree with opinions all the time, but I'm never in my feelings. I don't care that much, especially over these rap, bro. They're they're, they're human beings, like whatever. If you think they're trash, go ahead. People 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 clown my music taste all day. Oh, you like insane clown posse? I sure the f- do, and I'm not gonna stop yeah. liking ICP. Hey man, I just, I just, I just followed ICP on the IG today too. I don't. Do I shit. can. I don't. I don't, I don't do I, shit I, to. I don't see that a lot of niggas, you do shit to appease people. That's not me. I All never of these. Get let me get ICP. this out. All of these niggas who are saying this about Kendrick, you just saying it to appease. I already know you is. Like, uh, nah, I, man. You wasn't listening to the before the beef. Let's keep, let's keep shit a stack. 
<laughs> well, let's keep it a stack. I, I told you, I've been what caught me off guard and shit. Like what got me feeling some type of way was when you try to make it seem like I didn't listen to the fucking album I was talking about. Like I ain't listened to to Pimp a Butterfly, and I broke down like, yo, like this shit from Wesley's theory to Mortal That's Man up, is all about how you take like something beautiful and you can abuse that shit. You the minority, yeah, but you like a motherfucker. I'm gonna tell you that right now, but I, I respect that. You know what I'm oh. saying? I just said I, I was just. Hey, I'm I was, a black what man saying, in America. I'm used to being what, a minority, man. What I was saying, <laughs> what I was saying was, I'm the minority too. Nick, tell you that. Oh, you think Drake won? You're in the minority. Well, I'm in. The, I'm in the minority. Then I don't give a. Fuck. But and then you're you're <laughs> in the you're, you're and I like that shit. You're in the minority, like and then you're in the minority of like breaking down this music like a general mother who listen to rap. I guarantee you they ain't going to say what the f- Oh, Wesley's theory and uh, they just going to be like, to pimp a butterfly is a classic. Well, what what makes it a classic? Bro, he was just lyrical on that bitch, bro. Like storytelling, man. Um, Bro, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I well, I like about the pimp butterfly and I'm going to say this in like in a I, non-lyrical I mean, you spiritual you don't, miracle me, you don't got to tell me that. Cause I don't really, I don't care. Cause I listened to the album and didn't, uh, I ain't like it. But I, I mean, I'm, the, I mean, I know kid that Nat said he was better. I, I, I just, but, 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 like oh, I shit. said, I respect yeah. you for actually listening to it and actually having that opinion. But my thing was, a lot of people have the same opinions about shit, but they don't really mean what the fuck they say. And I said in the comment section, you coming off as them type of motherfuckers because the first. When you the one that just commented to pimp a butterfly, that's all you need to know. Yeah, T yeah, T P A B. No, I'm saying. Yeah, so then want to go through like a whole ass like speech, like dissecting the album and shit. Like, well, bro, you make sure the lyrical, the the, the barking like, like I don't like doing that bullshit. I just wanted to be like, yo, to, to pimp butterfly. No, I'm saying. And then then when you hit me with that power card, I was like, nah, 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 hold on, hold on, don't get it twisted now. Like, there, there was, like, a lot of storytelling in this shit, man. Like, there was a song on this album to fit every mood you're in. Like, if, if you're feeling sad, there's the a song The only feeling you. I got was being bored. <laughs> I gotta keep it a bean. The shit you you were bored listening to, uh, to, uh, to uh, Black of the Berry? No, that was probably, like, the hypest song on there. Rest of that shit. Yeah. Like I said, there's a song for every mood. You need a hype song, but play that shit. Or if you want to just feel good and happy for celebration, play all right. If you want to feel like some self love, play I. If you feel like you're hating yourself, play you. <laughs> if you feel like waking up in the morning, yo, true, true. you with a song about like, you know, love for you is complicated, and the you with the song is him. Like, so yeah, like, if you feel like hating yourself, play that shit. If you, if, if you just feel like chilling, you know, play uh, Mama Said or How Much a Dollar Cost. You know, if you just feel like being introspective. I respect that, bro, because you actually, I can tell you actually a sort of shit. I respect that. No, no My no bad, man. I, do, I didn't mean to rant like that. I know you but... good, bro. I was just bullshitting when I, I don't care. But I was, but you, but I, but I respect that, you know what I'm saying? Because usually, motherfuckers, they can't even name a song off that bitch. But you're actually naming songs, breaking them down. I respect that shit. I really do. Don't get it twisted. Do y'all, do y'all ever feel like Kendrick is the modern Tupac in terms of overrated right now? Like, and same thing with the, uh, like, I mean, Hit Him Up is a great track, right? But I feel like people are trying to make out Not Like Us to be the next Hit Him Up. They and, literally are. You know, that's blasphemy. It's just, yeah. 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 And trying to say Kendrick can do Tupac. I saw a list and they put, they put, they put that shit number one. Cause, Cause, back then it was you don't like Tupac, man, you crazy. Now it's you don't like Kendrick, man, you crazy. It's the same shit. They just that's try to make him a new Tupac now. That's why I say what it's I say. It's the it's the Tupac effect now, because 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 mm-hmm. I'm not talking because bro actually listened to Kendrick Lamar and I respect that, but the majority of niggas mm-hmm. that saying that they don't. That's my point. That's 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 just like with Pac, like these. When it come when it come to Tupac, they might listen to like uh, like the hit like a few hit songs. Because I remember I used to have conversations. I was like, "What's his first album?" 
It'd be like the one where he uh, holding up the west side. On... No, it's not. My thing <laughs> is, how are you saying this the GOAT and he the best right? He better than all my faves and you don't even know his music. <sighs> Eminem, stands, yeah, Eminem stands do it on YouTube every single day. It's a bunch you of it's a bunch of it's a bunch of motherfuckers who don't listen to his music. Dude literally said, thing. I don't listen to him in the car. What? <laughs> I I remember I remember Yo, a- asking somebody what was Eminem's first album. And that and I and they got it wrong and I was and I said technically his first album was literally a mixtape called Infinite. Yeah. I would even give a. Also, I would even give a, a point for saying Slim Shady LP. I give a. I give. Yeah. I, I give him a point. Most people don't know, but he used to be in a group called Soul Intent back in '91. Yeah. See, see, That's... see, see. For me, you don't really got him. You know what I'm saying? Because the because the man got a, a, a large enough catalog for you to be like, you know what I'm saying? Slim Shady LP. All right, bet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah. You Keep know, on some wild shit. Kendrick, Kendrick, only... Kendrick, my bad to cut you off again. I'm, I'm gonna just say no, this. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna just say this and let you talk. Kendrick is about Kendrick probably finna be the next Tupac. Oh, very much. I feel like that is already the case. I but, kind of feel that, but the only reason Pac is as high as he is right now is because he he ain't he wasn't old enough to to fall off. Like old enough well, to thing, fail. Like he died at his peak, and then we just immortalized him at that. So he never left like his status since '96. So motherfuckers just by reflex won't say, "Oh yeah, Pac is Pac the goat, Pac the greatest." But like we, but my, my motherfuckers were born <laughs> when that died. I, I, I was born '97. Like I was born after Pac died. I for damn sure didn't didn't listen to a lot of Pac. But I've always said, uh, if you, but what I've always said is, I don't have a problem. With people saying he's the greatest rapper of all time, if you actually listen to the man's music, mm-hmm. just like you, you saying Kendrick one of the goats. I respect you because you actually listen to his music. You 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 can you can base that opinion off of you listening to his music, and I respect that. And I respect Pac fans that do it. Like man, shit, man, goddamn me, um, me against the world, like. How he was just, how he, how he was just, you know, he was going through a lot of shit, and it was just him against the world. Court cases, media trying to tarnish his name, you know, to, that that whole, like, all that energy, you know, he kept, kept bottled in and just put it out on that bitch. Like, when you go in detail like that, I respect that a lot, because I do it all the time with all my reviews and everything that I talk about. I tell you why I like something and why I dislike something. So like oh, I, res- yeah. I, res- I, I, re- I respect mother who can do that, but it's rare on both sides when it when 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 you pro- when you prop them niggas up, that shit is rare. Which is which is my overall point. I get that. I get that. Yeah, you very very rare you don't find like a true blue mother actually who can like describe why they like something and like it can like say something. Right versus time, right versus when you hear a casual rap fan talk about Wayne, they be like, "Bro, nigga, um, Trout Three, that shit had a chokehold on me, man." We then rapped over Beyonce, started off rapping on Mims, like <laughs> I be, I'm rocking out. Yeah. I hear, well, well, this is what I'm saying when I hear people when I hear, because the because when we if you're speaking in general, niggas f- with Wayne, bro. And when all the conversations that I had with who listen to Wayne and Wayne is a generational, a generational legend. Like they get into it, bro. Dedication to nigga. What's your favorite? Nah, no ceilings. You know what I'm saying? They be mm, 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 mm. Carter two. Nah, nigga. Carter three had that shit on it. Like it's a lot of mother. It's a lot of artists who they prop up there and put on the pedestal. They don't do that. They'll do it, but it'll be real minuscule. Like to pimp a butterfly is the greatest rap album of all time. <laughs> so, 
And I think it's like, you know, like that that snob effect too. Like, oh, if it's if it's hard to understand, then it must be good, you know, like watching a not like an A twenty four movie or something. If you guys like seen those like the um, the May twenty four movies like Uncut Gems, uh, The Lighthouse, uh, if you see like that shit in, in like the beginning of a movie or trailer, you know it's gonna be like some artsy bullshit, and that's kind of like that's kind of like the Kendrick shit right there. Pretty much, a little Bioshock Infinite, in my opinion, like they, it's like they portrayed to be so complex, but it's really just a bunch of like I, I want to say Kendrick's a bunch of mumbo jumbo, but like he can't be pretentious at times. I I, I do feel like yeah. He's, he's, at the end of the day, it's just all opinions, and um, uh, that's, people that's... people come for me. Hey, y'all could y'all could I could chop it up with me, and I'm and I'm you know I'm glad you came through, bro. Like, cause um a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people think I just say stuff to be different. What's the word again? They call uh, contrarian. contrarian. Yeah, contrarian. I, that, is, that is not what I am at all. Mm.